By the end of this video, you're going to know exactly how to end a conversation with a narcissist politely and leave without being rude. So be sure to stick around till the end because the last point is without question the most powerful. Let's dive in. Hello friends, Tammy M. Joyce here, empowerment life coach specializing in codependency and narcissistic abuse recovery for empaths, scapegoats, and awakening light leaders. Thank you for watching my channel and thank you for subscribing by the way. And if you haven't already, please do so now and remember to hit that bell so you never miss a new video. So let's talk about how to end a conversation with a narcissist politely so you can leave without being rude. Now here's the thing. Narcissists aren't exactly emotionally mature, self-aware people, and they generally lack boundaries. They have no respect for your time, your comfort, or anything you might need to be doing instead of paying attention to them. In addition, they love to be the center of attention, especially to a captive audience, and they can and will hold you hostage if you let them. Holding you hostage in a conversation is a boundary issue, and since they lack boundaries, it's going to be up to you to set the boundary as elegantly and firmly as you're able. Now, ideally, you want to do this in a way where A, you don't feel like a jerk, and B, you don't accidentally inflict narcissistic injury and incite narcissistic rage. And that's exactly what I'm going to teach you today. But it's important to know up front that not all of these strategies are going to work all the time with every narcissistic person that you encounter. My goal is to give you some tools and strategies to have in your toolkit so that when the time comes, you can take care of yourself. And you'll find that often these will be just the thing to enable you to extricate yourself from the hostage situation you find yourself in with the narcissist without hurting their fragile little ego and becoming a target as a result. In addition, you need to know that when they have you cornered, they have your undivided attention by holding you captive to their never-ending self-centered diatribe about how wonderful they are or what a victim they are. This is one of the ways that they literally latch on and siphon your vital life force energy from you. And you don't have to let them do that. So when you're being held captive by a narcissist who doesn't have a lot of self or social awareness and they're talking incessantly and all you want to do is get away, first, try this. Look them directly in the eye, lean forward, nod, open your mouth and inhale like you're about to say something really important. Like this. And if necessary, you might even raise your hand gracefully when you do this, if you think you need the extra to politely interject and get their attention. You're not waving at them. What you're doing is indicating very clearly that you have something to say. And sometimes this will be enough for the narcissist to get the hint so you can interject and then politely excuse yourself from the situation. You're simply looking to create an opening in the conversation to let them know it's a wrap. You've got to go. When a narcissist hijacks and monopolizes a conversation, it's of course going to be all about them. If you're dealing with a grandiose narcissist, the conversation is going to be all about how wonderful they are, how much they've accomplished, how much they own, who they know, their obvious accolades and obvious superiority. And if you're dealing with a more covert type, it'll be all about how hard done by they are and what a victim they are, again. Either way, the reality is somehow you're gonna have to interject and interrupt their line of speech because they're not likely to pick up on the subtle clues, like the fact that your eyes have glazed over or you're fidgeting from the sheer discomfort of it all or you've completely tuned them out. So this is where you may have to up the ante. So if so, try this. Stretch out your hand to shake theirs, mid-sentence if you have to. This is an obvious gesture and is really hard to ignore and gets awkward fast if they keep talking. You're clearly indicating that you're leaving now and the natural response for most people, even a narcissist, will be to shake your hand. So the moment they break to do so, simply say, unfortunately, I don't have time to talk right now, I'm sorry, I have to go. Simple as that, not harsh, but assertive. Or you can just say what you're going to do instead of talking to them. This way it's not personal and they're less likely to feel rejected. But 
Don't justify or over explain. Just say it. Be clear, concise, and succinct. Now comment below and tell me whether or not you've ever found yourself in this type of hostage situation with a narcissist. And if so, how did you escape? Were you able to do so elegantly or politely? Let me know in the comment section below. And if you'd like to learn more about the possibility of working with me in my eight week transformational coaching program, the freedom class, there is a link in the description below where you can apply to see if you qualify for a free one-on-one -on -one consultation with either myself or a member of my team. Now, when nonverbal cues don't work, you'll need to interrupt and talk over them as respectfully as possible. A good way to do this is to soften it somehow without giving them false hope or being dishonest. For example, I'd love to stay and continue our conversation, but unfortunately, I need to get going. Period. Super clear, super succinct, end of story. And if that doesn't work, simply repeat yourself nicely, calmly and respectfully as often as it takes. Two to three times will often do it. You literally just repeat the exact same thing over and over again until the narcissist hears you and gets it. And you can use phrases like this, for example, I'd love to stay in chat, but I have to get going now. Or I'm sorry, I have to be somewhere. Or I'm running late for another engagement. We'll have to pick this up another time. Or, forgive me, someone is waiting and I don't want to keep them waiting. The point is to repeat whichever phrase you're using word for word until they hear you. No emotion, don't give them any ammunition. You're simply delivering information. I'm sorry, I have to go. I'm sorry, I have to go. I'm sorry, I have to go. See what I mean? You won't have to do that too many times before the self-absorbed narcissist gets it. And don't be afraid to play to their ego either. In other words, when you soften it by saying something like, it's been absolutely wonderful talking to you and I'm definitely going to remember you, it compliments them. It acknowledges them. It makes them feel appreciated. You leave them feeling acknowledged and accepted, which are all good things for elegantly extricating yourself from a conversation with a narcissist who lacks boundaries. Another example would be, I'm really enjoying our conversation and I'd love to continue it another time, but unfortunately right now I have to go and you're out just like that. Or, it was so lovely chatting with you, we'll have to continue our conversation another time. Or, it was really nice to meet you. Period. End of story. Extend your hand for a handshake and follow it up with a thank you or a compliment of something about them or something they just said. Think appreciation. A compliment with closure. Smile shake hands, be sure to use their name, and it's a wrap. Off you go. Ending the conversation this way ensures you leave on a high note without being rude. Now, how the narcissist chooses to take your best efforts to exit the conversation graciously is actually not your problem. Say what you need to say, leave it at that, and get on with your day. And you don't have to be phony about it. If appropriate, tell them the real reason why you need to end the conversation. It's all the time you have for today. You have somewhere else to be. Someone is waiting for you. In other words, you actually have things to do other than standing there listening to them go on and on about themselves. And here are some more nonverbal cues that can also be really effective. Use your body language to communicate clearly. Like, for example, start packing up your stuff. Turn your body away from them. Look elsewhere. Deliberately look at your watch or pick up your purse or put your coat on or signal for the check. This is very clear communication. Another option is to get ahead of the problem by using a time limit when the conversation starts, in particular with people who tend to corner you repeatedly, like for example at the office or at church or the dog park. Hi, I've got about five minutes before I have to and then just fill in the blank with whatever it is you have to do other than talk to them. Then stick to your time limit no matter what. You've said so in advance, so when the five minutes is up and you've got to go, you just say so. And then use all the other strategies I've mentioned to this point to break away. 
Now my last tip is one of my favorite strategies for ending a conversation with a narcissist politely so you can leave without being rude. Simply do what they do and make it all about them. For example, I won't keep you any longer, I know you're busy. Or, I won't keep you any longer, I know how valuable your time is. Or, I don't want to hold you up, I know there are others who really want to speak with you as well. Or, I won't monopolize your attention, I know so-and-so is excited to speak to you too. The bottom line is this, it can be as simple as extending your hand, give them a compliment, say a clear and positive goodbye phrase. I really enjoyed speaking with you. Enjoy the rest of your day. Then turn on your heel and go. Do not hesitate or falter. Do all of this in one foul swoop with confidence and certainty and you're out. Phew. My friends, I hope you got some value out of this today. If you liked what you heard, be sure to drop a like and a comment. Let me know what your biggest takeaway was and share it with a friend if you think it would be helpful. And if you're new to my channel, a very special welcome. Please be sure to subscribe and hit that bell to be notified when I post new videos throughout the week. And once again, if you'd like to learn more about the possibility of working with me in my eight-week transformational coaching program, The Freedom Class, there is a link in the description below where you can apply to see if you qualify for a free one-on-one -on -one consultation with either myself or a member of my team. And as always, I will leave you with this. Know your value. Know your value and unlock your freedom. Mwah. Much love, friends. Bye for now.